you get a chance to read this week's issue of the segment? I have not, but I will be picking it up this week. Journalism major, I have to. I was not, no. Uh, the Signal? Yes. Uh, is, is, that, is that a magazine? Newspaper. Newspaper? Uh-uh. No, I haven't read it. Me either. No, I didn't. I did not. I did not, no. That's fine. A ton. Far too much, actually. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Uh, various occasions, yeah. On well, all those nights where I really know it's gonna be a party party, yeah. <laughs> if I'm under the influence, yes. If I'm sober, no. Do you feel like Uber's background changed my suspicion? Um, I don't know. I've kind of met some crazy Uber drivers, but at the same time, I've met some good ones, too, so it's kind of 50-50. As long as you got a car and, like, you know, you got license and you got, like, a clean driver record, I guess. How much money do you think you spent on Uber in total? Like all the money you ever spent on Uber? Uh, twenty-one dollars. Uh, at least three thousand dollars. Minimum three thousand oh. dollars. Easily a thousand. Easily a thousand. I'm drunk a lot. <laughs> drunk a lot. Took some hits. I understand. What's your weirdest experience with Uber? All right. Oh, um, this is probably around two weeks ago. I got a cowboy. Like a real live cowboy. Like. He was in a car, but the car smelled like horses. If, I think his speed limit was like 35. He probably was going like 50. And it's like this guy started telling you his whole, his whole life whole story. Life. And he's talking about his daughter and her bad decisions and the baby daddy. And like you, you think you think I can't drive? You think you think uh, you don't like my driving? You don't like my. It's a business relationship with Uber, and he was making it very personal. And we were just sitting in front of my apartment for like 10 minutes. So go get out and walk like towards the back, like he's about to go like to the trunk. My Uber driver was just talking to. Him. So he was like, uh, you ever thought about driving? I was like, nah, man, I can't. I'd be trying to fuck the uh, passengers all day. Do you think there's a heroin problem in Georgia State? At Georgia State University specifically? Not that I know of. No, I haven't heard anything around campus. But I mean, I am aware that, you know, there's kids up in, like, upper Atlanta, on, like, the north side of the town that are really getting into heroin. I don't know anyone that goes to Georgia State that uses heroin, but I definitely know people my age that do, like, and I have friends that hang out with them, and it's around. It's on campus. Atlanta area? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you had any encounters with heroin? Yes. No. Yes. I can't confirm it, but I've had people come up to me that like, like their pupils were all weird and like they seem to be having like weird, I don't. Oh God, so many of my cousins did heroin in high school. What's the best drug nickname you've ever heard of? Just in general, for any drug? Any. Oh gosh. Angel Dust. Angel Dust, yeah, that's, it's kind of cute. Angel Dust is PCP. I guess, I guess Lucy. I heard Crocodile, but that's a different kind of drug. That's some Russian do you think Georgia State has a general drug problem? Um, if you mm -hmm. count marijuana, then I guess so. Not really. Not, no, I don't, I don't, no, I don't, I don't think so. I never had to punch a crackhead on the way to class.